Bloomberg's I want to bring in Stephanie Link, Chief Investment Strategist at Hightower and a CNBC contributor. Uh, we got the BlackRock numbers. We got Wells. Morning. We'll be getting JPM and Citi. I'm, I'm curious as to your, your immediate reaction to the Wells numbers. Well, the stock has had a heck of a run from the October lows. In fact, the group is up anywhere from 40 to 60 percent from the October lows. So expectations were pretty high going in. Um, little disappointing on Wells in terms of the guidance, not giving guidance. Um, but they're conservative. It's the first quarter. There's a lot of moving parts, Andrew. Um, I, I think... The biggest question in my mind, and we're going to learn about this on the call, is on all the calls, by the way, is that 2024 was supposed to be the year of revenue growth um, accelerating. And with higher interest rates, there's a lot of puts and takes. Is that now pushed out to 2025? In the meantime, I think you're going to have very mixed quarters, like net interest income. All the, um, all the companies are going to be down sequentially, but probably up year over year. Uh, net interest margins are still a hard um, headwind for these companies, probably down mid-single digits. And it, but it's expenses right. are where they're going to be able to flex. Hey, so I Steph, think that I that's need, why I, um, I need Wells to press pause. Peaked. Oh. I thought okay. I needed to press pause because we're, we're waiting for some other numbers as well. Uh, continue your thought. I apologize. <laughs> no, that's okay. I just think that expenses are really where the, these companies are going to be able to shine. I personally think that Bank of America has done a better job, one of the best jobs in the industry. But all of the big ones, the big six, um, that's where you can have some, uh, some leeway, some operating leverage if you can get better top line. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. But they're all going to be mixed, Andrew. Um, this is not going to be another, this is right. not going to be a clean quarter. It's going to be another one, another round of a lot of moving I don't know if you parts. had an opportunity to look at some of the, the, the BlackRock numbers earlier. Is there a takeaway from those in terms of looking forward? I, obviously, it's all looked back at this point. But given where interest rates are and given maybe where equities are, what kind of inflows do you think they're going to have in the future? Well, I think that that's the absolute bright spot are, are the inflows. I mean, it's kind of a... It's kind of a sim simple story. If you think that the mar if the market's going up, if you think it's going to continue to go up, you're going to continue to see inflows, and that's exactly what they saw. So uh, it'll be interesting to hear their commentary, though, about how the ETFs, all these, you know, the, the crypto ETFs are doing. Um, I think that certainly was nice help and, and tailwind for the company as well. They just are consistent, no matter in good times, bad times, they're able to deliver. They have size and scale uh, and just a tremendous management team with great execution.